Hello everyone. I hope you are having a great day today. A while back, I did a series called Organ Miniatures where we looked at the individual components of the organ. In one of those videos, we talked about the manuals, which are the different keyboards that you see here. I've recently had a number of people ask me about this top manual, which I rarely use, so I thought we would take a closer look at that today. On organs with four manuals, the top manual can be used for several different things. Often it is a solo division where there are stops that are loud and distinctive, but don't necessarily get used together. On this instrument, however, the top manual is for our antiphonal division. So what exactly is an antiphonal division? Simply put, it is a set of pipes that is located far away from the organ console, usually at the opposite end of the room. Our three main divisions, the swell, the great, and the choir, are all located up here in the front of the church. The pipes that you can see, and the rest of them are behind the wall. Our antiphonal division is located at the back of the church. I know it's a little hard to see here and here, but we'll go up and take a closer look in just a minute. The antiphonal division is a complete set of stops that can function independently. Its primary function is for an echo effect or for a surround sound feeling for the congregation or audience. Here's what that echo effect sounds like. As you can hear, the antiphonal is not very loud up here in the front of the church, and its distance from the rest of the pipes makes it impractical for use in recordings, with one exception that we'll see in just a little bit. For live performances, though, it is a rich addition to the organ's sound. So now, let's go up to the balcony and take a closer look at this division. So here we are up in the balcony, and if we turn around, we'll be able to see those pipes a little bit closer and in some better detail. You'll notice that we have both wooden and metal pipes because we have different types of stops up here. And you'll also notice that they're found on both sides of the balcony, which gives us a more even distribution of the sound. So now let's see what these stops sound like. So here is what each of our stops sound like. First, we have an eight foot board. Gems horn, an eight foot Gems horn Celeste, now you'll notice that these last two sound very similar. The Celeste is actually tuned slightly sharp and is meant to be used in conjunction with another stop like this. Next we have a four foot principle. A fifteenth at the two foot level. And finally a four rank mixture, which normally would not be used on its own, but for demonstration purposes. And now, here's what everything sounds like all together. You notice these long wooden pipes over here. These are actually an extension of our Borden so that we can get some of our lower pedal notes at the 16 foot level. So there's our antiphonal division. Up here it has a lot of sound, but as you heard from our earlier demonstration, up at the front of the church it very easily can get lost in all the other stuff, which is why I don't use it very much for the recordings. If you'll remember though, I did say there was one exception to that. There is one stop back here that you may have seen in our earlier clip, but I haven't shown you yet. And it is nice and loud, and I have used it on occasion uh, as a solo stop. And it is these pipes right here, and this is our antiphonal trumpet, otherwise known as a bombard. This is the loudest stop on this organ, and unless you're all the way in the front of the sanctuary, it completely overpowers the organ. Let me demonstrate. 
As you can tell, it's very loud and quite the wake-up call for anyone who sits in the balcony. I hope that you have enjoyed this little behind-the-scenes tour today. If you did, please be sure to give this video a like and leave a comment down below. If you haven't already, I would encourage you to subscribe to this channel so that you can stay up to date on my latest posts. And if you'd like to support this channel, I would encourage you to consider supporting me on Patreon. Be sure to check out all my social media sites. You'll be able to find links to all of those in the descriptions. Thanks for watching. See you real soon.